Adding a form to your web app feels like it shouldn't be all that hard, right? You throw a form tag, you run a few input tags, slap a submit button at the bottom, done, right? But of course, when you get into the weeds of form creation, it always turns out to be a larger task than you had originally thought. Depending on the complexity of your form, you could easily lose hours, if not full days on the project, which is why finding a form library to do all that heavy lifting for you has become such a popular solution. In fact, if you do a quick search for form libraries, you'll see that there's tons of them out there. This is a problem that developers have tried to solve over and over for years now. With that abundance of options though, how can you choose the form library that's right for your React app? Well, we on the Kendo React team could be a little biased, but we're also really confident about what we've built. And we're sure that the Kendo React form library will check all the boxes you're looking for. So you could spend the next day or so researching, installing, comparing various React form libraries, or you could try Kendo React and get back to actually writing code. We've put together a list of the top five reasons to choose the Kendo React form. Check them out here, see if we could have the answer to all your form related woes. Reason number five, ease of styling. Here's a little bit of fun web trivia for you. Which came first, the form or the styling? If you guessed forms, then you'd be correct. Forms were introduced as a part of HTML2 in 1995, but cascading style sheets weren't released until the end of the following year and still had several more years before they were well supported in browsers and not just officially recommended. So the next time you're shaking your head wondering why it is so dang hard to customize a radio button, remember that from a modern development perspective, they're kind of antiques. It's a little bit like looking for the SD card slot on an eight track player. The common approach these days is often to skip using the default HTML elements entirely and create your own. But if you've ever tried to do that, you know that the simply in that last sentence is a little bit misleading. Form controls are complex. Rebuilding one from the ground up to be fully customizable and accessible takes a chunk of your time. We end up doing it anyway, because having forms that look beautiful and match the rest of our application is important. But with the Kendo React form, you can skip the hard work part and get right to the looking beautiful part. All Kendo React components are designed with UX as the priority, so your users never have to struggle to figure out how a less common input works. And of course, they're all fully themable, so you can choose either one of our five lovely pre-made themes or create your own totally custom theme with our Figma kits and apply it quickly and easily to the entirety of your application forms included, leaving you free to party like it's 1999. Reason number four, built-in multi-step forms. When you've got a lot of information to gather from your users, one of the best UX patterns that you can use is to break that flow up into multiple stages. Whether you call it a wizard, a stepper, or just a good old fashioned multi-step form, it is an incredibly useful tool to leverage in your application. This approach can help a long form feel so much shorter by removing that endless scroll feeling. It gives your users a visual representation of how much they have to complete, and it also organizes your form into groups of similar questions. For really long forms, you might even consider allowing the user to save their progress and come back when they have the time to finish. It's a great way to create a more positive user experience as well as increase the chances that your users actually complete your form. The Kendo React form library includes support for multi-step forms right out of the box. By combining our React stepper component with our React form, you can easily break your form into as many stages as needed. In fact, we've got a great demo of multi-step forms with Kendo React so that you can see just how easy it is to set up. It's so magical, you might start understanding why some folks call it a wizard. Reason three, the variety of inputs. Let's be frank, a form library is only as good as the number of inputs it can offer you. If you need even one input that isn't included in a given library, it's a deal breaker. 
the only thing more painful than just using vanilla HTML forms is attempting to get two different third-party form libraries, or even worse, a bunch of unrelated individual input components from different libraries, to all play nicely together. No thanks. If that's the ticket that gets assigned to me, it's going to be the kind of sprint where I start suddenly realizing I have PTO that I need to use before it expires. Dodge the pain and the ticket dodging by making sure that you commit to a library that has all the form elements you could ever need and then some. Even if you think you've found a library that meets the needs of your application today, you also want to be sure it will meet the needs of your application tomorrow, next year, and five years from now. And Oh, I'm sorry, what's that you said? Kendo React has more than 20 different input components, including less common ones like a multi-column combo box, a color gradient selector, and a full featured text editor? Whew, you really know your stuff. And you're right. Kendo React offers all the inputs you could think of and then some. There is nothing worse than committing to a library and then realizing it doesn't do everything you need it to. Make sure you're committing to a library that's able to support your application, however it grows. Reason number two, accessibility. Forms are crucial for developers to get right when it comes to accessibility, since we're collecting important user information. When a user is unable to complete a form or unable to provide accurate information because the inputs are inaccessible, we've not only failed our user by making them deal with a tedious and frustrating experience, we've also compromised the reliability and accuracy of the data we collected. That is a lose-lose for literally everyone involved. Earlier, I was yeah, maybe a little unkind towards the default HTML form elements. Yeah, I said they're antiquated, they're not easily styled, they're kind of boring, but I do have to give credit where credit is due. And you know what those default elements do well? Accessibility. Which is why so many developers choose to use them, in spite of their other shortcomings. Accessibility is paramount in forms, so we'll often fall back on old reliable versus taking a risk on something that won't really function. With Kendo React Form, you no longer have to feel like you're making a choice between style and accessibility. Each Kendo React component is not only beautiful, but also created following the WAI ARIA specification to ensure that they are all fully accessible. We take accessibility extremely seriously because we believe that every user deserves a web experience that's intuitive and inclusive. And finally, reason number one, consistency. Consistency matters in two different but equally important contexts, to your users and to your developers. For your users, it's important to consider the visual consistency of your application. Ensuring that all your components look similar and function in similar ways allows your users to more quickly learn their way around your software. They can begin to anticipate where things will be, how certain things will look, and that lets them move faster and get more done with less frustration. This is especially important with forms. If you're using multiple different third-party input components or some combination of libraries, your users will feel the difference. Each new element that you introduce is a new thing that they have to navigate successfully in order to get you the information you asked for. And if it gets too hard, they simply won't bother. The other, less considered part of consistency is your code consistency. In a way, developers are also kind of users. They need to be able to navigate around your application's code base quickly and easily to learn where things will be and how they'll be structured in order to get more done with less frustration. Every time you add a new dependency to your project, you increase the complexity for your developers. Onboarding gets longer, refactoring gets harder, even just creating new features is more time consuming. You can minimize this pain point for both parties by standardizing on one library, and you guessed it, Kendo React is a great one to choose. With a consistent look and feel for over 100 components, your users will feel the difference immediately. And when your developers have learned how Kendo React works, creating new features is a breeze. Save time, energy, and frustration for everyone involved in your application by getting consistent with your tooling.
So, are you convinced? Ready to leave the old ways behind and make your forms easier, more intuitive, and more accessible with Kendo React Form? You don't have to take my word for it. You can explore our docs, check out all our other resources, and even try it yourself. It's free for the first 30 days. Just be warned, building forms this quickly and easily is addictive, and you might have trouble going back to how you were working before.